Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, I am going to share my personal experience of vaccination with you. I took the vaccine yesterday. I was vaccinated with Covishield, the widely used vaccine in India. And uh, it's been more than 30 hours now. So I'm going to review how uh, it feels personally. I took it like I, I, I uh, waited for more than six, seven months, I, I think, uh, to take the vaccine because I already incurred COVID-19 infection. Now, there is always a big doubt uh, that, I, that I always want to ask questions. If uh, any researchers watching this video, any immunologist, epidemiologist, the simple thing that we read throughout our career of microbiology is the idea of uh, the memory cells after an infection. And we simply know that if one time the infection is done, then generally the memory cell is there for a while. Although we don't know uh, about the time duration of the protection that these memory cells are going to provide for COVID-19. So uh, I personally find it moot to actually take a vaccine uh, even after incurring uh, the infection but still yeah uh, due to the government rules and all i need to take it so i i took it and uh, what i found out is that uh, is, is simply what i'm going to share with you in this particular video okay so the very first things first is that uh, how the experience was the experience was smooth with the help of the application it was glitch free there's no doubt about it and the process of vaccination itself is not at all problematic even uh, the needle is very sm uh, thin as well as the vaccine amount is very low so it, you can't even feel a thing while you're taking the vaccine so that time there is no issue but the issue came after almost like 12 hours after the inoculation so after 12 hours of uh, the vaccination uh, there, there was fever in my case uh, there was fever uh, from midnight somewhere and I need to take paracetamol for that and then afterwards uh, the fever was vanished in the morning then again uh, throughout the day there is a fatigue and muscle pain and things are there in my body still I am I'm having muscle pain and also I need to take another paracetamol probably and that's that's all I'm having right now associated as a secondary effect uh, as a side effect of this vaccine now uh, many of you have asked me a question that uh, two important question one question is that if a person is vaccinated uh, that, is that mean that the, vac the person is getting uh, coronavirus? The answer is no. So to prove that I have this self-test kit and one more thing is that I already made a video regarding the self-test kit which is also from Merrill Life Sciences earlier but that was uh, a commercial model. This one is a, uh, for personal use. You can easily buy it in the Flipkart or Amazon and other uh, websites. So I'm going to show you how exactly you need to use this kit to finally Proof, you know even after inoculating with this because it's an adenoviral uh, vector mediated vaccine so obviously it's not going to be positive so so I'll, I'm going to show you the exact result I'm going to get with this antigen kit self test kit I'm also going to uh, show you whether I have developed any antibody although 24 hours 30 hours is not a sufficient time to develop enough amount of antibody to be detected but as I was infected earlier and I have some sort of response I it's my gut feeling that there, there, there should be some sort of uh, response, at least IgM response uh, I'm going to see, uh, see at least uh, with the help of the antibody kit. So let, let's check both antigen as well as antibody and I'm going to show you the result with you. Okay, so uh, I'm going to test uh, the COVID-19 antigen first and then I'll also test the COVID-19 antibody. So again, I'm using the Merrill Life Science Kit for testing the COVID-19 antigen and this i love this kit and this is a self testing kit you can easily get the link in the description also it will be present in the amazon as well as flipkart you can easily buy that from those places so uh, in this kit uh, one more thing i love about is that it, they have a disposal bag where you can throw everything out so let's uh, begin with this process and this is the actual kit okay this is the cassette that we use for this kit and the process is very straightforward if you don't know how to do that I will recommend you to watch my earlier video regarding the self-test kit at home. Okay, so we have this buffer and the cap and we have this swab. Remember, uh, what we need to do, we need to insert the swab inside our nasal cavity and we need to take some sample from there and then we need to put this swab with the sample inside this chamber, buffer chamber and mix it and then we will put it into this small place here this cassette okay to check so let's see how it works so again I need to put my uh, head uh, tilted so that I can insert the swap without damaging any part of my nose it's 
it's done and now I have the buffer I'll put it inside the buffer now you can clearly see I'm putting it inside the buffer and I'm mixing it okay mixing is done and after the mixing is done I'll put the swab back to this and I'll put this head it's done and now I'm going to put some drops here I'm going to put some drops here in this so let's put the drop two drop will be fine one two that's it two drops are enough and then what all you need to do is simply wait for 15 minutes on the other side I'll also test the antigen so I have the antigen kit this is CDAC life sciences kit uh, two different kits I'm using today this is for checking the antibody and again this is another cassette based system you can see this and I generally believe that I may find some sort of little bit of antibody uh, uh, produced although it's only one day it's not uh, confirmed so to get uh, antibody uh, produced within a day but still as I had as I incurred this virus earlier I may or may not get it. so that's why we test these things and I have plenty of kits there so I'll, I'll check it so I'll prick my hand with this this is a needle use and throw needle obviously done and you can see the blood coming right the pricking is done blood coming and this is a small dropper I use this dropper to draw some blood okay the blood has been taken here and then I need to put it uh, along with the buffer obviously we need the buffer here as well so for this one I have this buffer with me so open the buffer right here anyway this is the buffer Okay, let's cut this buffer out. It's done, I believe. Yeah. So now I'll put the buffer as well as this blood together in this pot. Okay, so here we can clearly see both the test strips now. This is the Merrill Life Science test kit for uh, the COVID-19 antigen, and this is the test kit by CDAC Life Science to measure the antibody, the COVID-19 specific antibody. And I need to check whether the antibody has been produced or not. As I said, it's only one day, so no chance of producing antibody. But still, let's see. I'll also check that after a week. And after a week, obviously, we'll find some antibody. And uh, we need to wait uh, till 15 minutes to get some sort of result, some sort of data in here. This is the antibody kit, you can see. And this is the antigen kit. And you can clearly see that in the antigen kit, we can see one band in control and there is no band in the T that is in the test region. That means I am COVID negative. So all those people spreading false propaganda regarding this idea that if you take the vaccine, you are literally taking the virus. No, this is not the case. You are taking the vaccine that does not necessarily mean you are taking the active virus. Definitely not taking the active virus. So if you took the vaccine, you are not infected with COVID-19. Remember that always and this is the proof in front of you. Okay. You can also do that. You can also test that with RT-PCR. Science demands proof and if proof speaks, that is the answer to the science. And on the other hand, as I mentioned, that I may or may not get antibody in this case you can see clean I don't have any antibody created yet because it's only one day although I had fever I have muscle ache and all the other symptoms but still my antibody titer is very low right now uh, it's not at all produced uh, and I already had this infection earlier six months back so I washed out all the titer that was present earlier I made a video earlier showing that there is little amount of IgG present but in this case no uh, IgG or IgM no sign of IgG or IgM present okay and I'll also update a video after a week or so to, to explain again uh, that our vaccines are effective or not we'll also check the efficacy of uh, this uh, COVID shield vaccine particularly the one that I took and I'll explain this so that's all about uh, this and I believe you understand the, the concept here that after taking the vaccine you are not infected with COVID-19 obviously not not infected with coronavirus and the second thing is that after getting the vaccine it's not going to develop any antibody within one or two days you need to wait for one week and better to check after two weeks i'll update you after two weeks and you'll clearly see the two bands for igm and igg 
okay i'll also show you that later on regarding the efficiency of this vaccine so you can go there and take the vaccine any other vaccine you can take covishield covaxin or sputnik 5 uh, all these vaccines are available right now uh, you can take any of that based on your requirement the side effects of all these vaccines are quite similar and personally i feel like uh, covishield has been tested with a huge chunk of population so people go with that quite often rather than that if you want to try something new you can go with sputnik 5 as well so that's all about it if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye